Rashi, you're going to your new I'm home. I'm having a key moment in my life. A very, very key. Oh, 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 don't burn. Nice. I'm out. sure Lee will be okay. We're in Lee's Hobbit home. The pod. Just about a week, hasn't it? You've been in. Been in. How's it been? Good. Quite like you. Could could you live in a little pod like this? Yeah. Could have a little table and chair maybe or something, isn't it? But yeah, uh, yeah it's quite spacious and cosy and warm. Yeah. So we're making. So we're just taking off the dirty bed covers and stuff, and we're going to make up the bed, sweep out, mop out, wipe down. Because it's a lazy eviction day, Lee, isn't it? Yeah. You've been evicted from the pod. Where are you going to live? The new bungalow. The new bungalow. So today's your moving in day. Um, so you've got the car filled with all your things, and then we've got a load more things down there. Yeah. And um, I've decided a little shopping list. We need to go and buy some things, like a basket or a bed for Russia. Are you, yeah. t- are you having Russia with you tonight? Yeah. I'm going forward, see how she settles. Yeah. Big day for you. So your link is your life. You're going to be the first to move into the bungalow. Yeah. Would you ever believe this? No, no, no. When you ran away to Scotland, did you think you'd end up in Lincolnshire? No. No. Okay. Right, we've got a very excited Lee by the looks of it. Right, we need to do um, some housekeeping duties because you're the campsite warden's son. Who are you? Campsite warden's son. Yeah. Am I, do, do I not know how lucky I am to have you? Right, this is this is the rolling rocks in the great big bus that we uh, keep that off there. So, um, super duper motorhome. So this is the now, this is now the day after. It's all complicated. My vlogs, you've got no idea what it's like. <laughs> Brilliant to have you here. I'll lift the barrier up in safe travels, guys, and Thank look after you yourselves. Thank you for having Thanks, us. kids. Hope you've had a good time. All right, right, yo. Let's lift the barrier up, and off we go. There we go. Another momentous occasion. So they part their motorhome on the site, but the kids didn't stay on the site. They stayed in the cottage before anybody asked. But what a beautiful, beautiful that one is. Right, that's another one. It's, it, I'm getting this, it's a bit of a sad day, isn't it? For Russia, and she doesn't even know Russia. Russia, you're going to your new home. She can still come on holidays, can't she? You can stay with me, can't she? Yeah. And you may be ringing her back, you never know, you may put a, pitch up a tent here in summer mate and come a bit of camping with Russia so she will be back she will be the campsite warden dog but you're going to be staying with Lee Russia mm, your favourite have you seen you've seen somebody hey your eyesight know, like can't be that bad right Lee we need to um, stop off at a post office I need to post something for somebody and then I need to go down Trunch Lane to a shop to go and buy some bits and bobs and then the big moving day yeah all, all looking forward to it any problems? Any, have we had any dramas today? Yeah. I've had I've had drama since eight o'clock this morning. Relentless, four hours, and I'm not kidding. Of non-stop dramas. Hello. So I was just saying to Lee, he's going to settle himself in now for a few months. Uh, so stand us up in three months, and then Barbara will be following thereafter. So we were going to put Lee into here which is going to be Barbara's room. I've said to Lee, while we're, while, while we're setting up, what we'll actually do, the old spare bedroom, isn't it funny, I've already given room's name, I've called this a spare bedroom, yeah. because we haven't got a box room. So I've said to Lee, what would make more sense for the next few months is to put Lee into here, and then um, you can put your computer in and all the rest of it, and then we'll move this into Barbara's room until such time as we decide yeah. where we're going moving forward. And you're happy with that? Yeah. Very happy with that? Yeah. You've got an idea, Lee. How, how, what it's like to have a dad like me? Come on, give him a back. I've no idea, Dad, what it's like to have a son like me. Right, let's, let's have a think about how we working out the oven and stuff. So we've got some um, southern fried chickeny type things. So uh, oven on, Lee. Seems to be working, doesn't it? It wasn't too difficult, yeah. Right, let's get that into the I oven. I'm having a key moment in my life, a very, very key moment in our lives. So I didn't think the washing machine was working. It is. So the um, I need to order um, 
a tablecloth so i've got a towel on this because it's quite dung this is an extendable table i'm not worried how it extends yet neither i'm just sorting keys out so i just bought as these key rings from um amazon and i've got a couple of spare sort of front door keys but other keys i haven't got spare keys so at the moment so th we've got a coal shed key where i'm going to put sandra's lawnmower and all the gardening tools lee she can get out of our man cave can't she hey you don't want sandra's lawnmower in our man cave do we no no what um so at some stage i need to get to timpsons or somewhere to get keys cut so basically there's a key ring for the spare and a key ring inactive and i'm basically doing front door keys window keys conservatory keys door the door keys back keys garage keys 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 and what them ones like i've forgotten or oh, the garage keys so, so to get access into the garage we can go round through the conservatory to the back of our property uh, to get into the man cave but we've not done it yet and we've not been in the cold shed yet so back at our old house lee where the back door was in the kitchen yeah that used to be a cold shed and where the window was, where the kitchen was, where the sink was, that used to be where the back door was. Yeah. And then we knocked out the coal shed to make the kitchen bigger. So lots of people did this back in the day. But when I was naughty, which is very rare because I'm a picture of innocence. It's very rare that I was ever naughty, Lee. You know what my mum would do? What? Lock you in the coal shed. And it's dark and dusty and full of coal. Get in the coal shed! Get in the coal shed! <laughs> Leave me in there for half an hour on my own to gather my thoughts about my my acts of naughtiness. Now your dad's never locked you in a cold shed, has he? No. Should we try it? Yeah. You want to be locked in a cold shed? No. <laughs> you don't lock your dad in the cold shed, will you? <laughs> right. Let's go and see whether these keys work because we've 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 not we've not done this yet, have we? Let's let's go out. Right, well done, Lee. Okay, okay. So we just, sorry, we're obviously we're, it's all new to all of us. So we're slowly getting things ready. This is a really spacious conservatory, and on all the keys, I've only just noticed. But we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight keys. Oh, Lee, Lee, chicken's ready. Hang on, before we go, we need to we need to have a bit of chicken. We were about to go outside, but we're going to look at the chicken instead. Oh, 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 carefully, don't burn. Do you want some help? Oh, 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 we'll let that cool down. Keep it, put it on top of there so can wash, wash the electric wires, it's red hot. That's it, keep it going. Oh, 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 got a piece of chicken there, isn't it? You like chicken, don't you? Yeah. I'm a bit, I'm a bit kebab down. I don't think I've wanted to ever see another kebab. What about you? A bit, yeah. Yeah, right, we'll have that for some brunch. Okay, right, come on, let's try and sort the keys out. Um, so I couldn't get the washing machine to work but the water had been turned off so that's actually working which is quite good the fridge is a bit temporary at the moment which is going to be like until Sandra comes let's close this so Russia doesn't follow us and then we'll give you a, a walk outside so we have had a quick look inside our house um, it's, yeah, it's a good size uh, and it's a beautiful day absolutely gorgeous day So we've put some of Sandra's stuff already. I don't know why she's bought a stick and canes and stuff. There's my horse. A man without a horse is not a man. So we should now have two keys we've not tried. We should be able to gain access into the garage. All being well. This is Sandra's old bike. I have no idea why she bought that bike. It's scrap. All being well. It should be marked up as garage. I have a problem with the garage key, um, but we're now just going to see whether the coal shed key works or not. Oh, hang on, careful, careful, there could be a little boy in there if they've been naughty. Oh, 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 look, a little, a little coal thing here yeah, where you used to get the coal in somewhere for Sam. Oh. Hey Lee, Lee, you could, you could move in here, couldn't you? It's a bit like the pod, isn't it? Yeah. 
Right, so this, they, 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 this they, we, I think we should allocate it as being Sandra's cave. So, as I say, I've always going to bring the, um, the gardening things and all the rest of it, but this is ideal for gardens for Sandra, isn't it? Yeah. Sandra's, Sandra's cave. Right, so at the moment we've got a bit of a mystery to why we can't open that. Right, do you want to lock that one up? I'm quite impressed with that. That's, that's big, that, isn't it? So at the moment our garage is open, so we're going to try it from the inside and see if we can figure it out. And then Lee needs to work, we need to work out bin days as well. Um, so around the back of the property here. So these are all our bins. Green waste, I do believe you've got to pay for green waste around here. When they try to bring in a green waste um, stealth tax, because your local authority, if you're paying for, to, to have your green waste removed, it's a stealth tax. Um, the, con the controlling political group of the local council lost control of the council. Go up in arms, rebel, rebel. Where are you, Russia? Hmm? You prefer your old dog, right? Jump in your bed, go in, in, in your new bed. Was, oh dear, yeah. Right, so Lee's getting himself wired up. He's wired for sound. All being well, we'll see whether we've got electric in this room or not. Did anything come on? Yeah. Well, we've got life. Right, we've just had another problem with the washing machine. I don't know whether we're going to end up having to buy a new washing machine. Uh, what was the error code? Well, in error two, didn't we? And we just had an error three. But it could be if the washing machine's not been used for a long time. Right, Rasha, this is Lee's bedroom. And where are you, you going to sleep? It's a bit high for you to get on this bed, isn't it? Is Lee going to bring your basket in here? Are you coming up? Oh, you can't get up. You can't get up. It's too high, isn't it? Where's Lee? I think I think I think I think Russia will stick with you in here. Right. Stop being giddy. Right, your monitor's coming on, so that's a good idea. Yeah. Right, so again this is all for Sandra to sort out. Um loads of space for a gardening bitch. Well done Lee. Um dodging the showers. And one thing that's interesting as well is the sun's coming around over here now. I've getting some idea of the sun pattern. Right, should we lock that one up? Okay, I'm, I need to get back to work. I've, uh, had an hour of here. Hey, we're going to leave you on your own and all being well. I'll see you tomorrow afternoon. I've got some check-ins to take care of. And once they're on, I can get back over. And we'll go and get you some um, food sorted out. Um, Russia, your first night in the cottage? We're not in the cottage, are we? It's not the holiday cottage. <coughs> right, so I'm sure Lee will be okay. Um, sorry, we've unpacked some more, more bits and bobs. Um, and a little bit more organised in the garage, which we did, we did, it's a bit boring for you, isn't it? On film. Um, and then there's a couple of things. There's a television remote control. I'm not sure where where that is. Um, if Lee wanted to watch the telly. But I might have a, another look tomorrow, fingers crossed. Right, back to work I go. It's me. Some very dramatic skies and... Rain that I've just come through. Right, I left the garage door open when I went out before. I need to close this down and back into the office for a few hours. I've got a lot of scanning to do um, in relation to some bits and bobs. And it's going to be really, really, really weird, super weird, not not to have Russia with me um, by my side and sleeping on the bed and... <sighs> As you know, most of my daily vlogs start with a walk with Russia and stuff. So um, anyway, yeah, should be should be fine with Lee. She she loves Lee to bits. I don't know why they've got such a special bond. But um, ever since we got Russia, she's always been closer to Lee than any anybody else. Right, back into the office. Here we right, go. Right, that's just about everything done in the office I needed to do for today. A lot of scanning on some documents and stuff um, so I'm not going to go into uh, I've just had a, a, a really random letter addressed to the resident of the nurseries <laughs> I have a hunch I'm pretty sure that I had one of these last year um, anyway 
the memorial to Jesus' death. What can his sacrifice mean to you? Look, I've got an invite to two free events. The resurrection and victory over death. You know where I'm going with this, don't you? You, you, you and, and if you are um, into it, well, yeah. Anyway, 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 I'll cover, I'll cover that. Up. Dear resident, please find and close an invitation to this this weekend. Blah blah blah. Jehovah's Witnesses. <laughs> At least I didn't get a knock on the door. How many of you out there get get not at least knocks on the doors? Um, ironically enough, um, I have got a couple of friends who wrote an autobiography. I won't go into details who they are. They're, they're, they're fairly well known, and not many people actually know that they are Jehovah's Witnesses. And they are a they are a lovely couple. And there's an interview with them on my own personal YouTube channel. Anyway, yeah, that was that. So. I was going to say, I was going to go and put some tea in the oven and give Rasha a walk. And that's not going to happen, is it? Anyway, I'm hoping to see Lee and Rasha tomorrow as I need to take Lee food shopping to fill his fridge and freezer up with Lee food. Beautiful morning. Absolutely beautiful and very warm and mild. Wood pigeon in the tree. Can you hear it cooing? What a strange, strange night last night was and this morning. Not having any dog with me. The amount of times I spoke to the dog that wasn't there was quite freaky. Um, so <laughs> I'm often just sat on my laptop in the evenings and um, Rasha normally just sort of asleep on the bed looking at me. And if I get up, she'll get the occasional treat. And sub subconsciously, I'm talking to the dog. He's like, you all right, Rash? And that's the mistake. You all right, Rash? You okay, Rash? All right, Rash? And then one eye would open up or an ear would go up. And he said that. And yeah, it was weird. And then I slept like a log. I didn't go to bed till very, very late. I've had a lie in this morning. I didn't have any um, checkouts or anything today. I've um, just got a couple of arrivals to sort out, but no checkouts. Um, and then my day, normally, when I get up, I normally oh, undo my blackout blind and say, Morning, Rash. Let's get today started. Which I said, and no dog. <laughs> um, we're, anyway, I had a message off Lee there. They're both fine and dandy. So I am going to go up late this afternoon after I've got today's uh, check ins done. See Lee. Fingers crossed, somewhere's going to be open to get some keys cut. And I need to get some um, a bit of shopping done for Lee to get some food in the bungalow. And has, any, has this happened to anybody? Because I don't know anybody else personally. So I've seen big names. Nigel Farage was the recent one. Big, big names and big companies. And I got debanked for being politically exposed. <laughs> So you, you may or you may not know, I have got a political background, um, but I'm not an activist. So I am involved with a political group, not, none that you will have ever heard of, none of the big, none of the main ones of a small um, political group. I have been asked to stand for parliament, ironically enough, but I actually um, got my PayPal account frozen and got debanked for being politically exposed by PayPal. Fortunately, it was all resolved fairly quickly, but that is pretty frightening. That just click, literally, up this morning, and you've got no access, you're not allowed to transfer. Um, you can get money paid in, but you can't transfer money and you can't pay any money out. So they'll take your money, but you can't get, you can't get your money out. Uh, politically exposed. Yeah, wow, how, how mad is that? completely bonkers um right so let's get today started um and just enjoy this this warm weather i'm tempted tempted to get my awning up but i'm going to give it another week oh little fella mm. you're waking up hey maybe you've gone a bit cold oh even the bees are waking up 
spring is definitely springing. Was it the uh, summer equinox, isn't it? Uh, night and day, 12 hours each, or whatever it is. Oh, I was hoping that washing machine would be ready, but it's still going. Um, back in 10 minutes on here. Anyway, talking about politics. Daffodils. When the daff daffodils come out, you're going to get politicians knocking on your door because the May local elections are coming up around the country. So a lot of political parties, we nickname them daffodils. It's the only time of year you ever see them, isn't it? When the local elections are on. But look at this here now. Look, this is um, in the last two or three days. This has all been happening. So we've got the daffodils are all up. And all the blossom is open. It's actually caught my eye down here, which I'll go to in a, in a moment. So I've been doing this for the last couple of years to keep watching these videos and come back to here in March, in October, and, and watch the videos and watch watch the season unfold with me. Um, how pretty is nature? The alarm saying the washing machine is ready, but it's not. <laughs> um, and then we do let, so if you look at, oh, look at this here. Oh my golly, look, look, look careful. There's a ladybird. There's a ladybird. Ladybird, ladybird, like, those are ladybirds. Um, there's another one there. So all the stinging nettles are coming up. But what we do here at the nurseries, you get a lot of campsites now will be putting either weed killer down or they strim and strim and strim and strim and strim and strim and just destroy natural habitat. Like, there's millions of that. Look at all these ladybirds. There's another one. Another one, another one. There's another one. I'm not sure why the ladybirds have hibernated in the singing house. I'm not sure. Anyway, we don't particularly butcher down um, around the edge of the site. Hello pigeon. We let um, we let the stinging nettles grow. It's as long as they're away. Um, water taps. Oh, the sign has come down. As long as they're away from water taps and um, the hookup points, there that you, obviously we keep them areas uh, nettle free. But we do let the wet the rest go wild. Um, but everything is absolutely just coming to life and so i'm just down here on pitch number seven those that know will know pitch number seven there's another sign these must have just i don't know i've missed these another bit of debris people think these stop molds they don't um yeah the thing that just caught me eye the reason i've just come down here is look at the bottom on this one here look at this here this is uh, this has only come out in the last couple of days. We did have um, some apple blossom over here, but this has only just come out. And everything coming to life, including blue bottles. I don't, with blue bottles, even over winter, we've had blue bottles, and the lake, as we call it, has really gone down, and the water in this dike down so last march as we came to easter this 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 water in this dike was like um it was like a river so yeah progress and that's the pictures we marked out with um lee a few days ago all right let's go and sort these out new seasonal pads and see how it's neatening up now with the pea gravel going down and so they're waiting to Rotivate all of this, but the soil is very clayey, so it needs to be uh, really dry out. But definitely, definitely drying out. And then we've got the concrete coming in next week for this one. So this used to be the um, the pitch next to me. So that's my old Walden pitch, um, but I do believe the um concrete's coming in for this one and then obviously i'll be ready to surf and then this one will be dressed 
with some pea gravel as well. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Hello, Mr. Travel Troll. How are you? Oh, I'm a bit tired. Working hard yesterday and that. Yeah, I'm all right. You? I'm good. I just say. You have a good day off yesterday, just chilling and. Well, it wasn't so much a day off as I had no arrivals coming in yesterday afternoon. So well, I had, you did. I, I had. Did. I, I was busy. Really busy yesterday. So I'd made plans, and then we got a last minute arrival. All right. So I just want to say, because people out there don't appreciate the help you give me, that's not on camera. All right. So just to say on, on camera that you helped me yesterday and we don't make a song and dance about it, do we? So, no, uh, no, 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 no. Thank you very so, much. So yeah, thank, yeah. thank you. You're very welcome. You've got yeah. a lot of flies, haven't you? Midges. Little midgy things, yeah. I've just been, noticed them. I've just been filming um, a bumblebee on the floor and I've got a phenomenon happening. Or is it a, a, Sorry, it's just one of them little black things. Like a thunderfly. Have you got one there as well? Yeah. Um, yeah, I've got, I've got a phenomenon. Go on then. So it's just, just going out and all the daffodils have popped out in the last couple of days and the, um, all the blossom, apple blossom and stuff's all coming out. But there's millions of ladybirds all on the singing nettles. On the singing nettles. They've all come out of here. They've been hibernating in there, and they're all coming out. Yeah, but I've never seen them, like, well, I don't know why he's so prolific on, on stinging nettles for some reason. I think this year is going to be a very, very infestation-type year for ladybirds. Yeah, possibly. I remember a year, I can't remember, it was around 1978, something like that. It was a year where the whole country was millions of them, weren't there? You need, I know you've got your sort of silly... Silly out with your badges. You need one of them Australian hats with the bits of cork on to stop the flies coming out you no, when, you, when you move your head. I don't need one of them, no. No, because if you did that now, all the no. midges would... I don't uh, need one of them, and I'm telling you why, because someone will send me one. Yeah, I don't need one of them. I think I'd probably your vlog that you need one of them. No, I definitely don't need I think one, one of them. them I don't need anything. I, an Australian hat with, with a bit of uh, string, and then when you do that, all the flies will just go no. off around you. God, you're being attacked by them. Yeah, I know. You're not one who's making me stand here for your camera. You're, you're like a mutant hero. Turtle thing. You missing Russia? No, I miss Russia last night. It was all night talking to an invisible dog. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go down to Trunchland. I'm going to buy myself a dog. How was, how was Tyson? Tyson's well, he's just still settling in. Is he still about? Let's go say hello. Can I say hello to him? Of course you can. You'll yeah. be all right. Tyson. He's where you left him when hey. you brought him. Hey, Tyson. Tyson. Hello, Tyson. Oh, hello, Tyson. Oh, hang on a minute. He set up a vape shop. Well, he's, he he wants to do it on side, oh, just sell a few bits. Tyson, you're looking gorgeous, aren't you? Right, Tyson, I think we'll have. I think I'll tell you what. I'm gonna be. I'll tell you what. Let's let's. I'm sorry. What are you doing? No. Right, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna finish this vlog off. Do you want to lift Tyson up and you you can say goodbye to our lovelies? Oh, is this the end of your vlog? I think so. I think I think there should be 20 minutes of content on here. Um, because we don't have guys. We have lovelies now. Gems. Have you seen the heard about the gems? No. There's a gem out there. I know someone who says sons and daughters is a Hello sons and daughters. You're always doing brothers and sisters. Yeah. But gems are green eyed monsters. I, I like gems. guys because no, it really annoys you. No, it's not you go into a pub and or a restaurant or whatever. Hi guys! And and they but they, when they say they bounce, they they go on the toe they stand physically on the toes and go up like that. I don't like it, but because it annoys you I like it. All right, well, like guys. All right, guys. I love, I love, I love, five guys. Have you ever eaten at Five Guys? No, I don't think I have. Oh, okay. Right, right Tyson. Tyson, come and say goodbye. Go and say, 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 say